Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing three random horror games. Once again, if you'd like to see the previous videos in this series, I've decided to make a playlist for it, because this is like the fifth one or something like that. So you can go there to see all the previous episodes. We play three random horror games. It's exactly what it sounds like. So the first game is The Shape on the Ground, which is just a random game I found on Itch.io. And speaking of random things I found, I'd like you guys to check out my new hat. Pretty cool, right? Hey guys. New hat. What do you think? Very nice. Oh, look at that. Picked it up at Target yesterday. Good coloring. That's midnight black. And the design is something called Freddy Fazbear. That's pretty dope, Wolf. But that's nothing. Take a look at this. That is really nice. Charcoal gray with scarlet red. What do you think? Nice. Jeez, that is really awesome. How did a douchebag like you get so tasteful? I can't believe that guys prefers douchebag John's hat to mine. But just wait. You haven't seen nothing yet. Obsidian black with obsidian black and more obsidian black. Impressive. <laughs> Very nice. Let's see editing John's hat. Look at that stark contrast. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has the Legend of Zelda logo. Anyway, The Shape on the Ground is less of an indie horror game, actually, and more of like a psychological evaluation. At least that's how it's framed on the Itch.io page. Let's go ahead and begin the test. Zoomus et umbra sumus? I don't know. I don't know Latin. Huh. The visuals are kind of cool. It's like we're farsighted. Things that are up close are kind of blurry. Things that are a medium distance away are sharp and in focus. And things beyond that are blurry still. Huh. Alright, let's uh, look around for stuff to do. What do I see? A bunch of nonsense, to be honest. Press 1, a lie. Press 2, a truth. Press 3, a compromise. This is a truth. Your answer has been recorded. Oh, okay. What what exactly do you get from that? Oh, I found another one. Oh, it's a face. What I see. Desire, change, or beauty. Let's go with change. My answer has been recorded. So, a cool thing about this game is that in the folder that you download, it comes with the game, but it also comes with this form? This PDF that you're supposed to fill out after completing the game? Talking about your experience, and I thought that was kind of cool. So we'll be sure to do that too, after we're done with this weird-ass game. There are still eight questions left unanswered. Oh, so this is our final destination then. Got it. Okay, there's uh, there's one right here. So we got a demon flying king in the background. What do I see? Devotion, destruction, desperation, destruction? So it's like a bunch of Rorschach inkblot tests basically. It's just like, what's the first thing that comes to mind? What's the word? that you think of when you see this thing. Huh. I like how the game looks, strangely. It's got a unique style to it. Denial, portrayal, or betrayal. I would say betrayal? 
What does all this mean? Are, do they each give different endings based on your answers or? What do I see? A future, a past, or an omen? I see a past? Just, you know, the column there and the old dudes. The imagery seems kind of past-ish. There's no right answers though, right? I'm telling you guys right now, I'm not gonna hunt for the shape on the ground true ending or anything. What happens if I answer future for this one? But for this one, I answer desire. I'm not doing that. These are cool little portrayals though of whatever they're supposed to be. Do I see a rise, a fall, or a cycle? I see a fall. I mean, that seems logical, right? A civilization falling. You got a little crying, weeping baby. Little baby crying. Because the civilization is falling. Typical baby stuff. All cut up. All right then. So we're in the slums right now. Bad dreams. I had a really bad dream the other day. Oof. It was one of those dreams where you wake up and... You have a hard time adjusting to reality. It was one of those. Pressure, erasure, or pleasure. I guess pressure? I think that's what this person's feeling. They're feeling a lot of pressure, to say the least. Hey guys, I found a blood trail. Let's follow it. I'm sure it will end up... ...nicely. Inquiry, divinity, or scrutiny? Uh... Inquiry? Certainly not divinity. Yeah, maybe scrutiny, because it looks like that guy in the background's being experimented on. Clockwork Orange style. Here's one. Resilience, weakness, or strength? I would say resilience. Look at the butterfly still flapping its wings, despite being caged. That's resilient behavior right there. Maybe I'm being too logical with these. How many do I have left? One question left unanswered. Oh, here it is. Do I see secrecy, treachery, or royalty? Um, treachery? Yeah. Okay, that was the last question that I answered, and now what? We go to church? All right, here we go, into the church. All right. The church is on fire. The church is on fire. What, do we go inside? Shed the inanimate. And then we can quit. I guess it plays exactly like what it's posing as a psychological evaluation shed the inanimate is this like life advice shed the inanimate <laughs> okay thanks shape on the ground really loved the experience so what do i fill out the form now test patient evaluation form it's an actual pdf you can fill out okay i'll bite my name's john my age 26 to 35 male Country, United States. Level of experience prior to test. My software experience. Like using software? Intermediate? Time taken for completion. That was about 11 to 20. General behavior during my experience. I would say I was mostly calm. I was talking, but that had nothing to do with the test. That had to do with me recording it. Initial reaction upon completion. 
Confused? By checking this box and turning in the form, I declare that I complete every field to the best of my evaluating abilities, and that clarity of the information contained wherein will be considered my responsibility. In the case of a clinical care error resulting in a misinterpretation of the contents of this form. Um, I don't like that. No, I'm not gonna email this to somewhat software at gmail.com. No way. It will be considered my responsibility. What, are you gonna send me somewhere? No thanks. No, I do not want to save changes. Never mind, let's go to the next game. The second game that we're going to play this video is called Eleanor's Stairway. This is actually a demo that came out in 2015, and I did play it back then. Here's some proof. I never released the video. I'm not sure what exactly the Beatles inspiration is here. I'm guessing Eleanor Rigby, based on the title. So that's me, three years ago, playing the same demo. It was recently re-released because the developer wants to start actually developing the full game version of this. At the time, it was kind of interesting because it was a looping hallway game and PT hadn't yet inundated the indie horror scene to the point where this was actually unique at the time. And so I wanted to revisit it. Wow, someone was really freaking thirsty. Look at all this. And these are all used. All the cans are open. <laughs> Excuse you? I saw that. That was resting on the railway. And it just got knocked off. That's kind of creepy. I can't really remember how this goes. Ah, it loops. You crying? I can- I can come help, I guess. Or I could just keep walking. This is very noisy. This is the noisiest hallway of all time. Oh! She looks a lot like Lisa from PT. And she disappeared. Hmm. It's a little bit darker now. Truth be told, I also wanted to check this out because I wanted to see if anything was different from when I played it years ago. Oh, I see what this is. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, she's kind of fast. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, so it's the exact same demo that I played, uh, three years ago. Well, it was worth revisiting! <laughs> I'm- I'm- I'm unsure why the demo was re-released three years later, the exact same demo, because I expected some changes at least. If development on the full version of this game is resuming, I'm also curious to see what they're going to do differently. Because they can't just make a PT game that's been made so many times by this point that I, I think they would have to do something else to differentiate it. Supposedly, the game is supposed to be inspired by the Beatles, specifically the story of Eleanor Rigby, hence the title Eleanor Stairway, um, inspired by both the Beatles and P.T. So I don't know how that's going to be. It's always kind of intrigued me. So this is mostly just to put on everyone's radar that this game could be coming. I wouldn't hold my breath considering the demo did come out three years ago and we haven't heard a peep since, but just something to keep in mind. All right, let's, let's play like a game game. All right, I decided that the Eleanor Stairway demo did not count for the three random horror games. And instead we're gonna play Room 303, which is a game made in one week for the One Room Game Jam, which tasked game developers with creating a game that occurred all in one room. So yeah, 
Room 303. No relation to that awful piece of trash game, Room 404, that I played a couple years ago. Please die. Please die. I'm clicking your name over and over again. Shut up. Die. Please stop talking. Okay, yeah. It has nothing to do with that awful garbage game. Just so we're clear. Oh god, no, 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 please, no. What? Fix this. Okay. Search the room and set it right. What? Search the room and set it right. There's a lot of things wrong here. For one, there's a dead body. How'd it get in here? I'm sorry, it crashed through the window? Okay. Can interact with a guitar. Got a room key. The mug was on its side. Is that what I'm fixing? Time changes is the book that we have. Very philosophical book to have in our presumed hotel room. I'm a little confused by this. Okay. Pick okay. this up. Okay, think, think. Stop blinking. Stop blinking. Stop blinking? Are you talking to the light bulb? Light bulb's not even blinking, dude. Don't we gotta plug it in? Oh. It's not plugged in, but it works. Good. What do I do? What do I do next? Fix it! Fix it! <laughs> okay. Man, our guy's freaking out. There, we straightened up the picture. I- we're fixing everything except the corpse. <laughs> I think that's the main thing that needs to be fixed. I don't know how we're gonna do that, though. Throw it out the window? Maybe I should start panicking, too. This guy's losing it. Okay. Okay. It needs power. It needs- I'm trying! I'm <laughs> trying. So we got the sofa right here. It needs power. Uh, it needs power. How do we turn it on? Oh, oh. Plug it in. What happened here? What happened? What have I done? I don't know, man. What did I no, kill that guy? I, I, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. I know I didn't. I don't understand. Yes, you do. Leave me alone. Can we move this mattress or piece of cloth or what is this? What what else needs fixing? Oh god. Oh god, please. No. Oh no. Not now. No, no. Go away. <laughs> okay. No way. No way. It's not real. It's not real. Wait, that's you. Okay. Um can I shut the door on this guy? Is he trying to sell me something? Oh, okay, I get it. Alright, we gotta spray him down. Disinfect him before he enters our home. No? Do we spray down the body? To clean it up? Yeah, that'll get it. That changed nothing. Hey man, I know you're not used to disposing of corpses, but that's not gonna do anything. Hello. What did we do? What do you mean? What did we do? I, I don't. What did we do? What, is everybody in this world a twin? Do I have a twin too? They're gone, but they're still there in the reflection. Huh?
That was kind of cool. I liked that. Room 303. Made in one week? That's not bad. It had an uh, M. Night Shyamalan-esque plot twist <laughs> at the end where we were all the same person. I liked that. That was neat. I mean, it's, you know, it's a game jam game. It's not a concept that you could really blow out to a full experience. It's just kind of a cool, what, five minute game? Yeah. I've played a lot of games with similar titles to this, like Apartment 666 or Room 404, like I said. So I didn't expect much when I saw the title of this one, but uh, I guess we shouldn't judge games by the title because that was pretty neat. Room 303. Nothing particularly interesting to say about it. It was just good. It was interesting. I'm not going to play it again. But it was not bad for a Game Jam game. I I hope it did well in said Game Jam. I'll have to check the results. But yeah, Room 303. Alright, let's go to the next one. Hey! I almost said hey guys and started doing my intro, but we're already several minutes into the video now. This is a demo for a game called The Mannequin, which is probably the most uninteresting title I've heard this year, but I'm gonna check it out. Let's do it. The Mannequin. No worries, I'm over the age of 16. The Mannequin is best played with headphones. The demo does not contain any voice acting, but the full game will, sure. I'm not using a controller for crying out loud. Great. Let's do this. Two Tales presents The Mannequin. I I would like to see how a game about a scary mannequin is going to be done differently than all the other games about scary mannequins. Lisa says, stupid keys. One of these has to be the right one. Aha! Hey dad, it's me. I'm at the house now. Just got inside. Thanks for doing this, Lisa. I really appreciate it. No problem. You still at the funeral home? Yeah. Dotting I's and crossing T's. You know how it is. Yeah, it's understandable. It's so dark in here. Musty as hell, too. Oh, gross. Just got a face full of spider web. I expected it to move on faster than it did. Haha, <laughs> watch out for those. I'd imagine the place is a complete state, is it? No one's been there in ages. Yeah, just a bit. How long has this place been empty? Well, my mum... My mom, me mom had it in 58, but I don't think she ever lived in it. She refused to sell it, never did say why. Now she's passed, it's ended up with us. So it's been empty ever since? Must be worth a fortune though, surely. A house that this size in the heart of London? I'm not gonna do offensive British accents uh, for them. Well, that's why you're there. We'll have to tie you the place up before we can get it evaluated. At this rate, I'll be the one doing most of the cleaning. How much longer do you think you'll be there, Dad? Oh, bloody hell, no service. Guess I'll have to look around then. The pacing's kind of weird on the lines. These are huge cobwebs. How long did she say it had been since somebody had been here? I know the dad said ages, but I thought they said a specific time. Ah, oh, empty cardboard boxes. Can't get past this insurmountable obstacle. Guess we gotta go somewhere else. All right, let's go upstairs. This is... Awful wallpaper, by the way. At some point in time in this game's universe, a real person looked at this wallpaper and said, Yeah, I'd like to plaster our entire household with this. Oh. That's not normal. Bloody hell. This house really needs some TLC. Tender loving care for those of you not hip. Meanwhile, I go to Urban Dictionary. I know all the acronyms. She said, huh, what was that? There's a thud somewhere else. Well, concern we just saw a, a door collapse to the ground after being tapped on the shoulder. And hesitate to say that the house is in good condition. And this is probably happening elsewhere. Oh, can't open that one. That's too bad. Let's go upstairs. I think that's where the noise was coming from. Maybe it was the mannequin. Oh. We can barely open it. Dark room, keep shut! <laughs> They're all dark rooms! I haven't found anything yet. I guess we'll go up another floor. Here we go, this looks promising. <gasps> it's the mannequin, guys! 
What a sad looking mannequin. Kind of feel sorry for it being left here broken and abandoned. Don't put it back together. I wonder if these parts on the floor belong to it. Are you seriously this stupid? Are we gonna... Are we gonna put this thing back together? No way. Alright. Wow, don't you look creepy. Lisa, you deserve whatever happens next. I'm sorry, but... That's the dumbest thing I've seen in a long time in these games. Damn, it's locked. Oh, no. <gasps> Where's the mannequin gone? It came to life, you stupid idiot. Maybe you shouldn't have put it back together. Wait, is that music coming from downstairs? I guess so. I thought that was a new set first. It's I was about to comment on the edge, but no, it's just a light bulb. Let's check out where this is coming from. Oh, the mannequin's seducing us, guys. There's a candlelight dinner waiting for us. Rose petals leading to the room. Whoa, this newspaper is from 1958. A family was murdered in this house. Oh my God, and they never found the little girl. The little girl's the mannequin. Okay, tragedy on London Terrace. Wait, what publication is this? The Evening Chronicle? I'm sorry, I heard something. Um... I, can I take the film? Can I take the film? Can I turn this off? I guess it's over with now. No need to turn it off. Flick. Yeah, there we go. Is there anything else we can do in here? That's still not open. Do we just keep going downstairs or was I supposed to trigger something in there? Oh, I see it. <gasps> what the hell? Why is this mannequin in the bath? <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> I'm taking a bath, don't worry. Uh, why would you dress up and then go to the bath? Uh, th I like this mannequin style. It's trying to prank her a little bit. It's pretty cool. Nothing in there, I'm guessing. Let, let's leave, for crying out loud. Wait, this is open now. This stuff wasn't here earlier. It's like we've gone back in time. This can't be the same house, surely. Turn it off. Whatever. Crappy doll. Hmm. Looking around for stuff to pick up. Open. Always from bomb to top. Easter Island thing. Little weird elephant cup. I mean, I appreciate that you can pick things up, but I'd like for some of them to be useful. Maybe? Let's watch TV! Um... Wait, what was that? Okay. I don't understand what this is doing. I don't think it's doing anything. Okay. Bye-bye, weird TV. Didn't get anything good out of ya. Let's try to leave through the front door. The mail's gone, by the way. Oh, come on! We gotta go downstairs. The boxes have been moved! How did they do it? Oh. Stop holding your flashlight to the side. The mannequin's here wearing different clothes. But they're beheaded. The knob fell off. 
Hmm. Do I pick up the knob? Do I go back upstairs? <gasps> Did you do this? What do you want from me? Oh. I thought that was the end of the demo, maybe. Wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised. Oh, hey, the door's open! Go, go, go! Leave! <gasps> it tricked me! Hey, hey, you little shit! Oh. <laughs> wow, maybe you shouldn't have reassembled that broken mannequin. In the empty, abandoned house. <laughs> Listen, I don't believe in all this supernatural stuff that happens in these horror games, but even then I wouldn't do that crap. Daddy, you're gonna help us move in or not? Whoa, Jesus. He's too busy playing with that camera of his. Come on, Linton. There's still lots to bring in. Who are all these characters? There's Linton, Rose, and there was one other character. Wasn't there? Alright, alright. Just taking a photo of my two favorite girls is all. Don't you think- don't think you can sweet talk your way out of this one, mister. Put that thing down and give us a hand, won't you? What the hell, what's going on? Hello? Can you hear me? It's kind of cool to have the mannequins, like... Putting on a play, if you will. Showing what happens. It's- that's a neater way to show that than having notes strewn everywhere, like... You know, ah. Dad took pictures of me today. I wish you would have helped us move. You know, better way to tell the story. Canister. Put the canister in the projector. Wait. Put the photo paper in the chemical tray. Wait. Remove the finished photo. Oh, it's that easy, huh? There we go. Nice. So now we gotta wait. We gotta take this. Put it in... Photo tray A, right? Chemical tray A. We, we gotta wait, and then we'll remove the finished photo. Huh. So we gotta find this? I'm guessing it's upstairs. Maybe. <gasps> we gotta make it look like the photo! We've corrected it. Sophie says, good afternoon. We are Lady Sophie. And uh, uh, please don't put your feet up on the chairs. Do remember to curtsy whenever you see us. Rose says, I do declare, Lady Sophie. This really is the most marvelous home. How kind of you to have me over for high tea. I'm sorry, but Sophie is a kid. <laughs> Rose says, I dare say it was created by a dressmaker of impeccable taste and talent. Oh, they're playing pretend, okay. That wasn't a serious scene. They're playing with each other. Oh. Did I get killed by the mannequin? What? That's it? Ow. Thanks for playing. Please let us know what you thought of the game. I like, like I said, I liked the idea of the mannequins playing out pertinent information from the past events that happened in the house. I prefer seeing those scenes then to walk around and be like, here's Rose's journal. One reason I prefer that form of information delivery is it allows me to kind of infer what their thoughts are. When you read notes by them, you just get them directly. They can say their innermost feelings and you get direct feeds to it through the, the notes. But when you just watch a scene unravel, you have as much information as the other characters in that scene. And I think that's more of a natural, challenging way to figure out the story. So I, I like that. And I I think it's cool that the mannequin kind of plays dress up like that. So I'm guessing Rose died in the bathtub, you know. I would advise a different title than the mannequin because that's about as generic as you can get. I don't know what I would call this because I don't really know what the rest of the game is going to be like or what key thought or theme to pull out of it that you could use as a title. But uh, the mannequin is a little 
on the nose, I would say. I wouldn't say that there was a standout entry in this edition of three random horror games. However, I would say that the shape on the ground was at least interesting. And there was something different that I saw in the mannequin that I hadn't really seen before in other games. So, while I'm glad I didn't make individual videos for them and I did them in this one instead, uh, I, I am glad that I checked them out because I think they did have unique things within them. And I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments. So let me know what you thought about these games down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey John, it's Guys. You gotta check out editing John's new hat. He got another one. Bro, it's so dope. Wow, so cool. I have to return so some videotapes. Cool.